G'day ladies and gentlemen, Party here and welcome to a how to install video for UguCraft. Yeah, it's a mod that I just reviewed only yesterday and it is an unbelievably epic mod. So I know some people thought it might be a little, well, some people did post a comment thinking it was a little bit difficult to install. Well, it's actually very easy to install, but it can be very computer intensive. So like CPU intensive and that. So you want to have a reasonably good computer, but uh, if you're just doing it for single player, I reckon it should be pretty fine for most people, to be totally honest with you. I didn't have that many problems at all. But uh, this is the site where I got it from. The link will be in the description. But uh, once you get to here, what you want to do is simply scroll down. You'll go past all the you know, basic description of the mod and what it does. Then you'll scroll past all the uh, recipes. And of course, then you'll come to downloading UguCraft mod. There's three things there to download, which is one, the first one is the mod, which you'll grab. Then there is also the mod loader, mod loader MP. And of course, there is a fourth one there, but that's for a server. For, so for those of you who want to play with your mates, whatever, you'll be able to download that as well. And of course, just to make sure you understand it as well, there is also written instructions of how to install right there. So that's kind of cool. So that's where you get everything from. Again, link for this will be in the description. All right, so we'll get out of that. And now first thing we'll do is go down to start, again, using Windows. So sorry for all your Mac users. But just go down to Windows and then search, just type in percent, app, data, percent, and hit enter. And you should come across your roaming folder. And in this, you should have your .minecraft, or if you haven't, then make sure you get a new .minecraft folder. Because this mod is very new, and it is quite buggy. So you will have some issues, and it may corrupt your world. So I highly recommend using either a new .minecraft files, or at least back up your old one. Definitely back it up first. But uh, anyway, using a new one like I am, you're going to open up your .minecraft folder, go to your bin, open up that, and open up your minecraft.jar, which you can see. I'm actually using 7-zip this time. I'm not using WinRAR, so we shouldn't get that silly pop-up window anymore. And the first thing you do is delete meta-inf. First thing you always do when you're installing mods, delete meta-inf. Golden rule. All right, so I'll just move that along a little bit. Now I'm going to load up. The first thing I'm going to install is mod loader. So simply open up mod loader, select all the files, and drag into your minecraft.jar. And if that window, well, when that window pops up, that's just confirm file copy, just do yes. All right, now just uh, go back up, or just go back a page, and then you should find mod loader MP, which is this one right here. And select all of them, drag into your minecraft.jar, just do yes, and it's done. All right, now technically that's all you have to install, but I'm gonna quickly just throw on uh, which is not enough items, but again, if you can use too, uh, too many items, if you prefer to use that, but I've got not enough items. So I'm going to quickly just throw on Chicken Co Core, throw that in there, yep, and also not enough items, if I can quickly find it, and that's right there. Cool. Now, not enough items does prefer to use Forge, but you don't have to use it, that's why, I can, that's why you can use it without Forge. All right, so I'm going to quickly close that, and I'm going to close, now I can close the minecraft.jar because I don't need it anymore. Just go back a file, so now you should be in your .minecraft folder. And now you can either load up the game to help the game create your mods folder, or you can simply just right click, then do new, and folder, and just type in mods, M-O-D-S. And that will give you your mods folder. And now you should have your UguCraft fo uh, zip file you downloaded before. I'm going to just create a copy of it because I like to just keep copies of things. And now I'm going to just paste it in my mods folder. Or you can just drag and drop if you want to do it that way. All right. And that's it. Mods installed. End of video. Bye. No. <laughs> no, I'll quickly load up Minecraft and just show you that it does work. And I might just make that a little bit bigger. There you go. Should make it a little bit easier to view, I think. Ooh, the uh, HUD's a little bit blurt there, I suppose, or the UI, I should say, but anyway, who cares? Single player, it hasn't crashed, which is a good thing. Create new world, create new world, load up the game. Now, the reason why I actually put uh, NEI on was because if you just use the creative mode, it doesn't show like you mate, like the rotation blocks or your cannon blocks. So that's why I wanted to put in the uh, in NEI. But, uh, ooh. We've got a little, nice little spawner here, do we? Yeah, looks like we do. But uh, I'm going to quickly open up uh, E. I'm going to find... Actually, yeah, and I can scroll down through the list. What have we got here? We've got the uh, rotation block. That'll do. And I might even grab myself, say, a bit of red wool. And 
Where's that lever going? There's the lever. So let's just plonk that down there. That there. Let's just make sure it's working without crashing the game while it's working. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you install the Ugu mod, or Ugu Craft mod, I should, I should call it. And so, yeah, so go have fun. And uh, I'd actually like people to actually start making stuff. And if you can do video replies to this video, because I think it'll be pretty awesome, because I want to see people make, like, lighthouses and windmills, and God only one knows what else you could make. So that'll be pretty cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you get the mod installed if you're having a little bit of trouble with it. Otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And as always, keep cool, keep safe, and I'll catch you around. Goodbye.